Welcome back, Portal Masters. SCL Matt here, and we are live with yet another unboxing. But this one is special because this is the largest unboxing by a long shot. Um, so I'm going to have to treat this one a little bit differently because there's no way I can do it the same way I've been doing all my other unboxings. I don't have, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one cookie, it's part one. Um, I, I don't have enough space on my table. I don't have, like, the box that it came in, I like, I usually set it off to the side here, but what you may not be see is, like, well, you can kind of see it. Like, this, this is a corner here of my room, and so there's just not enough space, space to put that box. And so I'm going to have to do this one in parts. And I think, I think how it's going to go is I'm, I'm going to have to split it up into at least two parts. I'm thinking three parts probably. And I'm going to almost treat each one like its own unboxing. So like I'm going to go through the first part of it and test them all right away so I can get them out of the way and then go through the second part and then test all those and and, and i'll probably take breaks in between each of these sections just so i can get reset and get everything uh where it needs to be but yeah it, it it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be a long day um pumpkin eyebrow john chase biggie john courtney welcome thank you for joining me and i just realized that in all the excitement, I forgot to even like bring the first part of the Skylanders over here. So, excuse me for a moment. Pumpkin eyebrow, why'd you break your TV? That's not good. Can't play Skylanders with a broken TV. All right, so I was hoping these might be a little bit more uh, protected or a little bit better packaged for the price I paid. So I was a little bit disappointed there. I'll say that. Um, if you if you follow me on Twitter, you saw the giant box. Or actually, I think I posted on Instagram too. Um, but giant, giant box. It's a extra large size from Home Depot, I guess. It, whatever its size that is, it's like two feet by two feet or something like that. Um, so it's a it's a big box, and inside was basically. Kind of like the one we un uh, unboxed yesterday, where it was bubble wrap around the outside of the box, and then everything dumped inside. So, um, what one of the things that was dumped inside was this literal garbage bag filled with Skylanders, and they tied it nice and tight. So. I'm struggling with that now because, like I said, I didn't plan well on this one. It's been a long day. <laughs> and we're just getting started. Is this actually doing anything? Here we go. Here we go. I think I found it. Maybe found the opening. Okay, so this bag appears to be, I think it's mostly trap team. Like it may, may kind of be sorted. So let's get through this. We have ourselves a tough luck. And a head rush. 
And there's a Thunderbolt. Oh, and yeah, this is what I'm afraid of. Um, I have a Winterfest Lobstar, but his arm is a little broken. Man, that sucks. Okay. <sighs> this is why you need to pack things well, people. You need to pack things well. Sarah, that's awesome. I'm glad you're getting into it. Uh, we got ourselves a nightlight. And a nightmare. So we got our light and dark. Tree Wrecker, welcome. Aaron... Uh, yeah, lobster is fairly common. Um, really wasn't wasn't too hard to find. And they pop up a lot on the secondary market for sure. But he's a good character. I really like that character. Which color do I prefer on lobster? Um, like I said, like the Christmas variants, the holiday variants are are, are always pretty nice. So, like, I mean, I, I, I don't mind this one. And, like, the other one is so monochromatic. Like, if if the original version even just had, like, a secondary color, like, I think it would have been a lot better. Let's see, it's probably in here. We'll get, I'm sure we'll get to it. Um, but, yeah. That nightlight has chipped wings. Um, I mean, depends what you're talking about. Like, th th there's nothing, nothing wrong or missing with this, as far as I can tell. I mean, so some of the wings might be a little bit bent, but I don't think, like, I'll see if I have one co to compare it to. But yeah, it it's just from sitting in a bag with a bunch of other figures. All right, uh, moving forward, we have Trailblazer. It's one we don't get too often. And Blades. And a Nitro Headrush. So we had a uh, normal Headrush before. Now we got our Nitro version. We have our snapshot, of course. That's going to be there. It'd be weird if it wasn't. We have a Crypt King. I know we were talking about this yesterday because I just sold out of these, even though I had a ton of them in stock last week. And we have our legendary Hand of Fate. I wouldn't be surprised if we have the standard version as well. But... We'll check it out when we get there. All right, we have Blaster Mind. And Legendary Blades, which, of course, makes sense with the uh, Legendary Hand of Fate. Yeah, I'll try not to talk to Siri as much as possible, but no promises. 62 pounds better come with a side of Robo. We'll find out. We'll find out. All right. Uh, we got Funny Bone. I may have to close my shades here. It's really bright today. We got a Piggy Bank. And Gil Brunt. So the, of course, the mini, as I said, like everything in this bag seems to be from Trap Team. So I think any minis that come out are actually going to be minis. 
not sidekicks. We have Gear Shift and Dark Food Fight. Oh, talk last night I got Xbox Game Pass working. Streaming video games is surprisingly fun. Yes, yes, it can be, man. It really can. But yeah, w- wired connection, um, especially if you're playing like online multiplayer stuff, yeah, you definitely want to be wired. Courtney's been using Kaboom. Is that a question for Stomp Path or Yodel Path for Head Rush? I I'm not familiar enough with the, those paths. Does does anybody else know? Um, have experience with Head Rush to go Stomp or Yodel. But we do have Wallop. We already got our Head Rush in here, so and a legendary Deja Vu. Got whoop, backwards jawbreaker and the mirror of mystery and ooh 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 we have a mini we have a mini it is breeze little little breeze. So hard to find. But uh, yeah, this folks is Breeze. This is the one, the only. Um, I mean, I know, I know a lot of people have trouble finding this one and I understand it. I have it in my collection already. So this, like I said, it's, it's going up in the shop. Um, but yeah, we have a Breeze. <laughs> a, a light breeze. Yes, a light breeze. Courtney, I like I would keep it, but I, I already have it, so I don't need it. So yeah, like I said, it's, it, it, I, I have one of one of each figure, including the minis like that. All right. Uh, why do people want so much for her? Because she's hard to find. Uh, it was, a. Uh... all right, all right, all right. So, <laughs> and why is Pet Vac not rare? So he- here we go. Um, Breeze and Pet Vac came in the air double pack for the minis, right? Um, it was a late release wave four or five, um, so that pack was really hard to find. Uh, a lot of stores either didn't get it because they didn't buy into the later waves or they had very few of them and they sold out quickly. Um, I believe I got mine probably from Amazon because they had a larger stock of figures and I was able to just order them from my house um, as opposed to trying to hunt them out, hunt, hunt, hunt them down in stores. When you get into those later, later waves, I knew she was, I uh, knew they were going to be hard to find. Um, so that's the first part of it. Then why is pet vac not rare? Well, that's because pet vac actually got additional releases. So pet vac was also in, I believe a buddy pack with jet vac, so it would have been Hurricane Jet Vac and Pet Vac. Um, I no 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 not Hurricane Jet Vac no. Um, trap team, trap team, trap team. Um, tur- turbo Turbo Jet Vac. I think so. Um. Anyway, th- there th- the the basics of it is there were additional releases for Pet Vac. Uh, pet vac also had the variant um power punch pet vac which was good enough thank you full blast jet vac um but that 
that was enough to satisfy some people's curiosity with the figure. And so they didn't need additional figures. Um, so yeah, that, like, like there are other releases of pet vac, but there wasn't a breeze. And so by the time people got to that pack, either they didn't buy it or didn't want it or didn't realize how rare it was going to be. And now, Everybody needs it. Fusion Man, welcome to the chat. Just realized you have a Wii Raptor Easter variant. I also have a small fry, but don't know how I manage that. Yeah, I, I I run across that in collections sometimes. And like I don't know how how you manage to have one but not the other from like a double pack or whatever. No worries, Fusion Man. There was no RSCP. There was no arrive at this time. It's all good. Just found a regular thrill peat for fifteen dollars. Take that thing. All right. So breeze was certainly good, but let's see what else we can find here. Ah, we have a legendary jawbreaker. We have Shortcut, one of my favorites. And, well, we're going to keep the good times going. We have a Blackout. Breeze, Blackout, can it get any better? All right, we have Nightmare Express, the level pack, one of four. Um, actually, another level, Midnight Museum. And Courtney was talking about Kaboom. There you go. We got ourselves a legendary bushwhack. And here is the original lobster who stars. Wait, which one of these is off? One of these seems off, right? I'm not crazy. That's not the, the, the actual positioning for the stars, right? I mean, even this one is a little bit closer. Yeah, one of your stars is off. I don't know. Um, it's just weird because it doesn't feel loose anywhere. So I think it's just bent a little. Yeah, it's still good. <laughs> Chatterbug looking for Echo. Uh, what time will the store update again? Don't want to miss it this time. So uh, I don't have an exact time, unfortunately. Um, it's kind of when I get to it. Uh, it, it. It usually happens approximately two hours after I end the stream. Um, today's going to be a little bit different because we're going to have multiple times. Um, like we're going to have multiple streams throughout the day. And I'm probably not going to update the store until I'm done with all the streams. Unless you want me to update in between streams. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know which works best. But yes, ugly book bushwhack. That that legendary bushwhack. I actually I still have it in my hand here. I yeah, I'm not I, I was never a fan of this. Like the this green of the axe does not go with the the navy and gold color scheme, I feel. Like it just does not work well. All right. Hmm. May have been glued back on. Potentially. Potentially. But like I said, I have a ton of lobsters, so I'm not too worried about it. All right. 
grab my next handful here. We have our Series 4 friend, Tidal Wave Gilgrunt. Everybody loves him, right? That's why they keep making more and more. This is the rarest Trap Master. Uh, yeah, pro probably Enigma. I think he was, he was the last one released, right? I don't think... And Tough Luck, I don't feel, was too bad. She may, may have been Wave 4 or... No, Wave 3. But, yeah. So, Sarah, I don't... I, the, the navy and gold looks fine together. It's just with the green of his weapon. That, that looks awful. I have thought about it. Skylander dude, I have definitely thought about doing some kind of mystery box thing. Um... And that's that's probably going to be a little bit more of my focus um, after this lot because I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of buying immediately following this. Like I've, I've kind of blew through my budget for the month. Um, so, uh, yeah, I will be focusing on selling a little bit more and and figuring out how to get rid of some of the more common figures and stuff, too. Um, it's a dance. It's a dance for sure. J I mean, I ran into this when I was selling trading cards. When you when you buy packs at wholesale and open them up and sell, like the rare cards fly off the shelves, but you got to find creative ways to get rid of the common cards too. So, yep, I'll be working on it for sure. I think Trap Team has the highest quality figures. Interesting. Okay. Um. It's arguable. I mean, I think they did pretty well with Imaginators, too. Some of those figures are really nice. Sarah, is this my only job? Y yes, um, basically. I mean, I, I have a few other websites I run as well, and a few other things I do, but it's all online. I work from home. Um, so I do get to focus on Skylanders a lot. But, yeah, this is it. Uh, we have Jetvac. So, yeah, the, okay, so this is full, full blast Jetvac that we were just talking about before. Full blast. Uh, that has the same color scheme as the Power Punch Pet Vac, right? <laughs> Someone thinks they're going to get 10k plus 825 shipping for Crystal Tough Luck. I... Nobody should ever pay that. I I, I don't I, I don't understand people like I, they're just throwing numbers at, at the wall. I don't get it. All right, uh, we have Hogwild Frino. So this is Series Two Frino, and Fling Kong. We haven't seen this guy in a while. He, he turned out to be really, really good in game. And it's a shame that he, he, he's hard to find because I really like how he plays in game. And I actually like how his figure looks too. And, and that's kind of weird because he's an air figure and I don't tend to like air figures. My dedication to making everything about your website high quality is admirable. I, I appreciate that. I, I do try to keep things at a certain level. Sometimes I, I, I'm always about function over design. So I'd rather have something working properly than looking good. But yeah. <laughs> what are the requirements for a Skylander to gain access to the VIP top shelf behind me? That's a good question, John. Um, it started out as some of my favorite characters. So originally it was Quick Draw Rattle Shake. Camo is my favorite character. Quick Draw is my favorite in-game variant. Um, I have my custom uh, custom figure, my cu 3D printed custom figure, and uh, Crusher. Like that's what I put up there. Uh, my wife added Thumpback. Um, I I acquired a Green Gill Grunt from one of these, and I 
green's my favorite color and um that that green translucent material i've always kind of liked and so uh we got that one put that one up there um flock stump smash i just got recently and that is a figure i've always kind of wanted and so he made top shelf um i still need to get a case for him but we'll work on that anyway and then the chaos is because we're giving that away um so he's just kind of a reminder back there that hey this is coming up so a little bit different requirements for for all of them but it's there uh what trading cards i I sold light seekers it was a trading card game based off another toys to life game that kind of failed so that's part of the reason i came back to skylanders actually is because (laughs) they did not hold out but uh, my Imaginator, I I think you're right. I, I, I forgot about that. that we actually named him. Um, but yeah, the, the Imaginator's named Timber. He kind of reminded me of like a, a lumberjack type of guy when I did, was done designing him. Yeah, the Skylander dude, if, if I ever get a Flock Stump Smash in a box, like I will keep that one and... and sell that one but yeah it is what it is all right um what we got here we got mini genie she's intact surprisingly being thrown in a bag like that it's a little surprising but we got her that's the mini mini genie and we have another variant we have another variant one of my favorites, especially from Trap Team, King Cobra Cadabra. So everybody knows that watch me play Trap Team, you know I love Cobra Cadabra, but King Cobra Cadabra, that's the one, man. That's the one. Um, like, I like him so much, I might end up keeping this one. We'll see. We'll see. Um, the... There are going to be a few pieces throughout this lot that I will be keeping, but it's probably only like half a dozen pieces. Um, there are a few that will round out my collection or they're pieces that I regret that I sold before some of the in-game variants like King Cobra Cadabra. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes, but I'll let you know. All right, more variants. We have Dark Snapshot. And Thumpling. Mini Thumpling. And Fizzy Frenzy Pop Fizz. We have Treadhead and the original Bushwhack and Wildfire. Nothing super special there, but they all count. All right, we got another high five. We got one of those yesterday, but we got another one today. And here's the original Cobra Cadabra. And a dark wildfire. So it looks like we're going to have most of the dark figures throughout this too. All right, um, we have a torch. And Shroom Boom, Series 2. We got ourselves a Gnarly Barkley. 
yesterday we had gnarly tree rex but here is the gnarly barkley and uh chatterbug actually king cobra cadaver was a gamestop exclusive so yes it was exclusive but not quite yeah walmart um i think during trap team the only thing i think was exclusive was one of the buddy packs like the i think it was the gil grunt gil runt buddy pack was exclusive to walmart did they have one other buddy pack that was exclusive to maybe but yeah they, they didn't get great exclusives i feel during during trap team um but we have another figure here spotlight you know her you love her i love her this is one of my favorite figures i found out <laughs> during during trap team like it's an it, very unfortunate once again she's even harder to find than like fling kong that i was talking about before that i really like to play with but spotlight is such a great figure so yes yeah, so we have spotlight and blackout and breeze I feel like i'm kind of getting down to the bottom of the bag here All right. Yeah, small fry and hog uh, frino were exclusive as well. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, do I know what the next figure folks will be on? I do, but that's something my VIPs know because <laughs> that's information I get from them. Um, I always ask them for what they want to see next. That's part of their their privilege over there. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a surprise for everybody else. All right, uh, we got fist bump and chopper, food fight. And there's a little pet vac we were talking about. Came along with Breeze initially. <laughs> they should have released light and dark figures much earlier, like wave two or three, so they wouldn't be hard to find. Um, yeah, I mean, they could have. It, it, they kind of came out initially, like the light and dark expansions, I think they came out like end of wave three, kind of because i think they're out for the holidays i think so what breed is hot dog that's a that's a good question i don't know because i don't really know dogs i'm curious w w w any dog folks out there what what do you think what, what breed would hot dog be brian you're right you could have gotten small fry from the buddy pack there was a buddy pack um the buddy packs were, well, there, there are only five uh, reposes, and most of them had buddy packs. So Jetvac had one, Gilgrunt had one, Frino had one. Maybe it was just those three, because Shroom Boom did not. And the fifth one, I'm not going to spend too much time thinking about. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think this is an unpopular opinion. All right. Uh, we do have a Sunscraper Spire. Always like to see that one there. So I think that makes three of four levels. Uh, Courtney, yes, we did get full blast jet back. That one has made it here. All right, we got Gusto, Boomerang intact. And we got ourselves Enigma with his staff still in his hand. So I think we're all good there. Unlike yesterday's. All right, looks 
Looks like a bunch of minis here slip through the cracks. We got our Wii Ruptor. Trigger Snappy. Hijinks. And the one I've talked about before, Power Punch Pet Vac. So this this one's one of my favorites too. Like I love the figure. It does not look anything like the original render. The original render was all in red and not even like this shiny red. It was like a dull red. And unfortunately, that's how he shows up in the game. He shows up in the original render of the all red. Whereas this Power Punch Pet Vac looks a lot more like uh his big buddy Jet Vac here. Like that's what it was designed after. And like that looks awesome. But yeah. Only complaint is this is not how he looks in game. All right. There you go. There's nobody packed for Pop Fizz or Shroom Boom. Yep. And yes, Oscar is still waiting for a series two build run. <laughs> the, the shroom boom mini should have been named fun guy yes 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 i i would buy that i would buy that all right uh we have a small fry and there is our standard hand of fate Got Tiki Speaky magic item and I small. We got a flip rack. Another character I I like the design of. I did not care for the gameplay so much. But we get we got flip wreck. Got our that's not good. Got a broken nitro cap crip king. That 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 sucks. Yep. Ah oh, man. Okay, um, Deja Vu. And Terabyte. Got ourselves a Rocky Roll. There is Spry. Little mini version of Spyro. And a love potion pop fizz. The Valentine's Day variant. Got our uh, rocket ram. Airship, welcome to the stream. We got Bop. Little version of Bash. I just bopped his head. Um, we got Barkley. Along with his running mate. Whisper Elf. So Whisper Elf almost falls in the same category as Breeze. They were actually were released at the same time. Uh, these two were in a, a double pack, but once again, Barkley got additional releases. Barkley was uh, in the 3DS starter pack for Trap Team, so he got additional releases. Whisper Elf became harder to find or less common than, than Barkley, and um, therefore more sought after. Oh, 
All right. Skylander dude, thanks for hanging out. Uh, airship, yeah. So far, we've basically gotten all of the trap team. I'm trying to think how much we've missed, but we got Spotlight, Blackout, uh, Breeze. Uh, here is Excellent We Ruptor. This was another Easter themed variant. It's really hard to show all the pastel colors on camera. It always looks really bad in pictures, I find. Uh, we got Drobit, Drobot's counterpart. We got ourselves a bat spin. So that gives us, completes that trio. High five, flip wreck, and bat spin. And it looks like the final one in this bag. Who are we missing so far? Call it out. I'm sure you can all guess this one. Who are we missing? Harvest game. You're welcome. I, I love that people from back in the day are still hanging out with me. It's awesome. Um, Fusion Man, we did get Nightlight and Nightmare already. Sarah, yes. Uh, if you are international, as long as I am shipping to an address in the United States... Uh, like I don't care. I don't care where I send things as long as it's in the, in the U.S. Aaron, we already got blackout and spotlight. We got shortcut already. Yep. But I'm seeing a few other ones here. Chatterbug, John. You got it. We got ourselves an echo. So. I I think I think that that completes trap team actually I th like variants and all even pretty sure we got yeah we got trigger snappy terabyte <laughs> John we we have we did not hit on tree rex yet but we are far from done that this is all just trap team stuff we've only opened trap team stuff so far so all right um. So this next bit, I'm going to handle a little bit differently, partly because of how it's packaged and partly because it just makes sense. Uh, so. Uh, airship, no, we have not run across any chase variants yet. But... I think most of you recognize what this is. For anybody that doesn't know, this is what they sold as a trap case. Um, and it's a, I mean, it's just a cardboard case. It does have a little uh, like magnetic seal at the front actually to keep it closed, but it opens up and look at that. You have a bunch of traps inside. So, well, this doesn't look full. Um, that's because this is the second case. I have two of these. Pirate Dad, it is going well. Um, so, I'm obviously not going to go pull all these out right now, but just go through these quickly. We have a water flying helmet, the ultimate chaos trap, and a chaos trap. We have three legendary, the three legendary traps. Uh, undead Skull, Undead uh, Spear. What, was there a spear? No, 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 that's that. Captain's Hat, right? Yeah. Uh, Life Sword, um, Tech, uh, Tech Handstand. I, I hate that name. I really do. Earth Handstand, the Earth Totem, the Easter Bunny Trap, the Air Snake, the air sword, 
um, the fire captain's hat, the magic log holder, the magic rocket, the magic totem. Um, we have a dark sword and a dark handstand in this box. So the second box, or rather, this is that was the second box. The first box is full. Um, so here you can see we have everything like they had to go to a second box just because I'm pretty sure they had one trap for every villain. Um, so we have the tech hand, tech flying helmet, tech scepter, tech angel, tech tiki, water angel, water tiki, water log holder, water axe, water jug head, uh, life sword, life snake, life toucan, life torch, life hammer, undead axe, undead hand, undead snake, undead orb, earth toucan, earth hourglass, earth orb, earth hammer, air jughead, air toucan, air hourglass, air screamer, fire totem, fire torch, fire scepter, fire screamer, uh, magic hourglass, magic axe, magic skull, uh, dark spider, a second dark handstand. And then in the front here, we have a light owl and one, two, three light rockets. Like, it is ridiculous. The only thing they don't have are the entraps. Um, so yeah, I'm obviously going to have to go through and test these and see, um, how many of these are the villain variants. I, I, I don't know that offhand. I didn't ask. Um, but given the, the scope of this collection, I have a feeling, um, some of them are going to be, um, the variants, if not all of them in there. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, Pirate Dad, I, I, I am totally aware of the villain variants and, and which traps they should be in. So yeah, I, I, I will, I will test them appropriately. Um, but yes, yes. Those are the possibilities that I need to test. Um, oh yeah, do you put the stickers on the box? Oh yeah, here. Um, the, the light and dark, you can't see them there. The light and dark stickers are placed on the box here. The ones that used to say mystery or whatever. And yeah, up here as well. Um, that's kind of what they created them for. And he actually put them to use. So, yeah, I will have all of that stuff to go through for sure. Um, so, I think <laughs> I'm considering ending part one right here and and going into the testing phase of these figures and getting these out of the way and then jumping into the rest of it i know this this one will be a little bit shorter than the rest of them um but i think this might be a good breaking point based on what else i know i have over here um yeah yeah so <laughs> Um, actually, hmm. no, no, that here, I, I can show you this stuff here. We got a few portals. Um, these were on top of the box. So we got three portals that I found so far. I, I still haven't made it all the way through the box, but, um, looks like this is actually two of Two Imaginator portals. That's interesting. Um, and one Traptanium portal. 
all just the standard portals, not for Xbox. Um, and then I've also found two games for PS4, Trap Team and Imaginators. I know there's more games in there somewhere, um, but these are the ones that were on top. So those are the only ones I've been able to pull out so far. Um, so I think... I think that I might. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think at least very one, one of those rockets should be Rebel Lab Goblin? Yes. I, I'm almost curious if all of them are. I think if you just went to the store and bought out his game stuff. Uh, yeah, there's a Tech Tiki exclusive to the APAC. So that should be. Uh, should have seen Broccoli Guy in the Life Trap there. Um. But I've seen stranger things happen. So, Doomstone for five dollars at a flea market. Nicely done. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a five-part miniseries. Um, like I said, I, I'm hoping to get this done in about three parts. It might go to four, but but th- th- this is what I'm going to do. So, uh, because of all that, I d- I'm just going to keep things moving here and and not um, think about this too much. Um, so I need to play around with my game system here. Since we have all trap team, I can go test, test them in trap team right away. I don't actually need to test them in imaginators like I usually do. Which also works out because I still have my Trap Team portal plugged in from yesterday. All right. So yeah, Courtney, you're right. Swap Force has black cord. Imagine has the gray cord. Um, I actually look at the model numbers. Um, I I have a pretty good handle on the model numbers, and so I just kind of pay attention to them. But yes, that that is another way to go about it. It's got normal thrillipede for ten bucks. I'm telling you, folks, shop local. You can find good deals. All right, uh, we'll adjust our settings here. We bring you over into the game. You always find Trilopy cheap? Yeah, he's rare. At least in the US, he's rare. Pirate Dad, what are you doing to me? 601 figures? Uh, airship? Potentially. <laughs> I... My, my space... Like, I'm running out of space rapidly. And I don't have a lot of space to like set up cool pictures right now. So I'll see what I can do. Um, but no promises at this point. All right. Make some noise. First thing I think I want to do is actually go through these traps. They didn't even play with Echo, really. Man. <laughs> some noteworthy numbers. Resetting for the sake of resetting. All right. Let's make some noise. Hmm. 
Dr. Crankcase. I'm Dr. Crankcase. See if all of these are different villains, too. Like I said, I think most of these cruiser cruiser I, I'm like i'm i'm pretty sure he had one trap for every uh villain out there that's why there were some like he has four dark traps and four light traps dreadnought Shred. <laughs> Still have 100 percent trap team. Oops. All right. So here is our first test. Brawlers. Interesting. I'm a Brawlers. Because the, the the flying tech flying hell that that was. That's the variant, right? Or it could be the variant. Um, tech flank. I'm blanking now. Oh boy. Uh, Steampunk shred knot. Shred knot. Shred knot. Hmm. It's not steampunk. Buzz going. Okay. In that case, maybe we don't have all the villain variants. My mouse Holy cursor is tiny. Sir. It's a big screen. What are you going to do? Oh! Get it off the screen. Hey, guys! What are the plans for this stream? So, um, yeah, I I unboxed the first section of this, and now I'm going to test everything that I've unboxed so far. And then I'm going to take a short break so I can clear everything out that I've I've worked through, and then I'll come back shortly thereafter. Um, I mean, maybe take it, it would probably only be like a 15 to 30 minute break in between streams. So everybody can take a bio break, uh, go find some food. You, know, you guys can eat while you're watching, but I can't. Brawl I could, but I'm not going to. Evolved Brawl and Chain, but not Outlaw. Here I go. Mm. Okay. This is slightly disappointing. I, I, as complete as this was, I really expected there to be more um, villain variants here. Here I come. Oh man! We have a friend that didn't want Skylanders anymore. Sold me Sky. <laughs> Once kind of for two bucks, so I got a Crypt King Light Owl Bushwhack, but not anyway. <laughs> Fair enough. Chompy Jinzo, man. I am live. What do you know? Magic in here. Welcome back. Happy Mage in. You can't get the variant villains out of there once you wait. You can't get the variant villains out of there once they're gone out of the trap. Right? No, no. You can put them back. That that's why I had to run down and check. Um you 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 you, you totally totally can uh, put them back in. I've done that before with some of the other villain variants. Uh so this could potentially be Riot Shield Treader. Um but it doesn't look like it's going to be Using it for sheep creep, huh? 
I mean, in my opinion, Riot Shield Shredder is one of the harder ones to get anyway. But if this was the Riot Shield Shredder trap, me putting this back in here, it would say Riot Shield Shredder. It, 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 it doesn't go away. Like it's the programming is still in the trap that whenever you put Shield Shredder in this trap, it's a Riot Shield Shredder. So this is just not a variant trap. Um, but we're talking about here, Life Toucan. Broccoli this one, guy. it's not steamed broccoli guy. Wow. You must have pieced this together oh, separately. That That's interesting. Cuckoo Why is Wrecking Ball so small in Giants? I, I mean, it's because he's a core figure. He's not a he's not a giant. Shield Shredder. Yeah, I, I I've picked that up from some of my other gamer friends. Airship. Gotta go take a bio break. Wolfgang. Yeah, I, you definitely can. Like I've I've done it on stream before. Like I've had to go and um the the last two that I got um we did it with Red Hot Tussle Sprout and who else did we get in that lot? Was that another steampunk shred knot maybe? Or no, no, that might have been out Outlaw. I think it was Outlaw, yeah. Hood sickle. Unless all the variants are in box two. I, I, I don't think I have those those sculpts in the second box. That's the thing. I mean, yeah, it, it could be, but I, I don't I don't think most of the sculpts are there, so Correct. You can't transfer villain variant because the the variant doesn't transfer into the game. The variant is in the trap. Like you, you just have to think about it from a technology standpoint. Like the, it, the the programming is in the trap itself. It's not in the game. It's in the trap. How many chase variants do you all have? I oh, man, I I don't know how many I have right now. It's not that many. Maybe half a dozen. The golden era begins. Yeah, Pirate Dad's the one who has all of the chase variants. Batspin does look a little bit like Hex. A little bit. Sprout season. Well, you do make a good point because some of okay so i don't have the earth totem in this box that was in the second box so maybe that one was a variant then we'll see when i get there brave clobber bone chompy is amazing i love bone chompy Juju. Trap testing is a lot easier. Crankenstein. Figure testing it goes a lot faster, it feels like. Beak. Yep, Earth Grave Clobber. I mean, think about it. Grave Clobber. Like, that's where he should be. They, they changed him for Imaginators to water just to fit their scheme because they wanted to make a Grave Clobber figure. Grave Clobber makes zero sense in water.
But yeah, he was originally Earth. Dreamcatcher. Favorite chase variant is Metallic Purple Singer. He's all right. Yeah. Personally, I I prefer um, Phantom Cinder Chef Series Three Jack. over uh, even the Metallic one. Bring it in the heat. But that's just if we're talking about Cinder, not Chase variants. Scrap Red shooter. Camel, you and me both. It's me, see? Grenade. His backstory makes element change makes sense. I I guess I've never paid that close of attention to the backstories. I'm glad they helped it along. Smoke scream. Uh, because light cord robot is super common, uh, especially during the Giants era. Uh, light cord robot was everywhere. It was in single pack, triple pack, super easy to find. Uh, released early, restocked often. Whereas series two robot uh, follows our standard. It was released Long really show. late, way four or five. He was really hard to find. I think he did technically Long come out in a triple pack in wave five after he was released in wave four, but it was rarely seen. Um, so it just it, 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 it was hard to find. Hard to find. That that's that's the answer to most. Why is this one so expensive? It's hard to find. Up. I mean, and Drobot's awesome. So, rage, you know. rage. My turn. Nightshade. I'm on the case. I I have a hard time saying he was badly stocked. Um, it's more so just that he Crow. didn't have a chance to be stocked. I would say. Into the ninja. All right. So here's the moment. Hey, get out of there. See if any of these are Rebel Lob Goblin. With three light, with three light rockets, one of them has got to be Lob Goblin, right? Rebel. Oh, it's forget. Like I don't like this menu. Like it's not sorted by element. It's not sorted by. Um, oh, is it sorted by when you find him in the game? That might be it. I don't remember that order, so <laughs> it doesn't help me out that much. Lob Goblin. So that one's standard. Coming in hot. This is the owl one, so we don't need to test that. Blaster Tron. Favorite Snowblade. Snowbright Stormblade is a fantastic Three figure as well. Now. Hey, there we go. We got a rebel. Coming in hot. So here, ju Some just to nice to show you huh? what's going on here. Um, <laughs> saw it pop up, rebel lob goblin. Um, so here, if I go and put I five in this trap, I five. So now I can run around and play with I five. You know, but if I come back and do, 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 put Lob Goblin back in this trap, 
Lob Goblin. We have Rebel Lob Goblin. So, there you go. Coming in hot. Can't show you much more proof than that, but we have one Rebel Lob Goblin. Let's see if we have two. Luminous. And of course, it's not Lob Goblin in here because, like I told you, he probably. <laughs> I think he had one for each villain. So we have to jump back. Come on. There you go. It's fairly slow, Bob menu too. We have two rebel lob goblins. There we go. Double rebels. Two out of three. Didn't have like any of the other variants yet, but we have two out of three rockets are rebels. All right, so that was box one. Yeah, it, it, Sheep Creep and Gulp are first. Yep, expansion levels are last. That It hit me when there's people after Chaos. It's like, oh, those are expansion levels. Okay, got it. All right. Here we go to box two. Get out of there. Oh. Ooh, does he not? Okay, so we'll have to throw someone in here and just test it. Um, this is one of the legendary traps. The Apparently didn't use those. It, those were extras. Makes sense. But here comes we have our legendary... Chaos. Got chaos. Let's see if he even bothered using the ultimate chaos trap then. Very well. Yeah, that's what I figured. We'll throw chaos in here just to confirm that it works. Chaos. A A. Chaos. Uh, John, we've hit two two of the dark traps. There are only two in the first box. There's two more coming up. Yes, you have chosen wisely. Chaos. Threat pack. Right here. Another light sword. Jumpy. One of the best um, molds, I feel. Sword and the snake are the best molds. Alright. So I will tell you, some of these traps I will be keeping to round out my trap collection. Oh, what am I going for? Go ahead. Um, Gamer Slam, see ya. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, three dark variants. Yes, yeah, we, we got spider, um, spider, sword, and two dark handstands. Like I said, I've only, I've only been through the, the, the spider and, um, spider and the, first dark handstand so far but masker mine yeah courtney go ahead it's fine all right uh these are once again, the legendary traps that he didn't use. Like, these were obviously just for collecting purposes. Didn't need these because there weren't enough figures. Master mine. Oh, three dark variants. Okay. Um, yes. Yes, we did. We, we, we got all three of them. Yeah, we got dark snapshot, dark food fight, and dark uh, wildfire. They, they were all kind of separate, but... Yes, they were there. 
Good point, Brian. Links don't work in chat. Or so I've been told. I haven't actually tried to post a link. Um, but Courtney, I, I, I don't know if you're on Twitter. Um, I've always said if, if people want to share links or want me to share links, um, if you either tweet at me or just tag me in a tweet, uh, most of the time, as long as it's something relevant and safe, I don't mind retweeting it to get that out there. Trussell Sprout. Season. Or you can just tweet the name or, or post the name of the group. There you go. All right. So here's our Earth totem. Which, shoot, if if it's empty, yeah, that means because the villain variants came preloaded with it. So yeah, it would have been in there right away. Yep. Sprout season. Yeah, we're not getting that one. Tussle sprout. Tussle sprout. Let's tussle. Alright, through all our water on dead. Oh, here's our last tech. Lob lobs. Got like seven, eight more traps to go. Almost there. Here's the last two dark ones we were wondering about. I scream. Actually, you weren't wondering about, but I was talking about. Fisticuffs. Yeah, Akasha, I, I I'm aware. Um, now watch my I, I I thank Courtney for that from time to time. Um, he he and I are in in, in touch. Yeah. Reaching a high water mark. Wrong buttons again. Like I'm, I haven't played this game before. Yes, at the very least, we got two rebels. I mean that that's very true. Like I would have loved to get a, a riot shield shredder, um, but I guess if you're gonna get some variants, rebels kind of it feels tougher to get, but it's honestly probably about the same no as any numbers. other. Um, Variant villain variant. Well, no, I take that back. The outlaw brawl and chain was super simple to get. Target had so many of those things. Lax repos. Uh, best find so far. Well, we've made it through trap team, and now we're testing all the trap team stuff. So you'll be able to see it all in a minute if you stick around. I'm just going through all the traps right now. We have a essentially complete trap collection um, minus the yawn traps. So like everything but the yawn traps. And that includes some duplicates because he had one trap for every villain. So like I have four uh, dark traps and four light traps even though there's only three different molds of each of those. But yeah, then we got Breeze and um, reaching a high watermark. I keep hitting the wrong button. Wow. Uh, Breeze and Whisper Elf, as Courtney was saying, we got <laughs> we got a water tiki trap. Um, but we got Spotlight and Blackout. We got Echo. We got Breeze. We got Nightlight Nightmare. 
got Sun Scraper Spire. We got we got everything, um, and and most of the variants too. Uh, magic. Um, Bombshell. We did unfortunately have two broken figures. I have a broken Winterfest Lobstar and a broken n Nitro Crypt King. And when I say broken, I mean damaged. Haven't actually tested them in game yet. But. Bombshell. Bombshell. Bombshell reporting for. Oh, I. Were there really only two per store? So I know I got mine in store. Bombshell. Bombshell. Uh, Brian, yes, th this is the lot that's going to be missing superchargers. Like there may be one or two superchargers figures, but not nearly as complete as everything else that we're going to have here. Okay, so that's all. All the traps, all my traps work. Um, the only variants we found were the two Rebel Loud Goblins. Yep, we got two Rebel Loud Goblins. Yep. Um, why is your lightning rod purple? Like the actual figure, Sarah, or in game? Like that, that's my question for you. Because if you're talking about the actual figure, yeah, that's a rare piece. Um, but yeah, okay, we got traps done. Moving back to figures. <laughs> yeah that's that's a sweet chase variant um yeah that that lightning rod is a hard to find chase variant that a lot of people love it's, yeah it's metallic purple lightning rod you can look it up um but yeah it's it's a nice piece Okay, this is gonna be interesting. The first two figures. Did he really just collect figures and not play the game? I'm not gonna to have to reset any of these. No rest for the wicked. Like all of these are level one zero gold. I mean, that does make my job somewhat easier. But maybe, maybe when we get into some trap masters, because like I said, that that was the fault of trap team, right? Here, let me try a trap. Master. Was that the trap masters were were too integrated and too powerful that it just like didn't make sense to use the other figures? Gust and glory. Come on, did he use Gusto at all? You collected 45 coins with Gusto. Okay. This is exciting. Gusts and glory. <laughs> uh, Pirate Dad, only you. Actually, no. I know other people that would do that too. But. All right, did you play with starter pack figures? You just play play through the game once with starter packs, maybe. Is that how you play the game? Nope, never use food fight. Or did did you reset all of them for me? <laughs> is that is that what's going on? Vangelis, yes, sixty two pounds, largest purchase ever. Yeah, yeah, Pirate Dad, it just just occurred to me he could have done it, but would he? I, I mean.
most people wouldn't take the time to do that, sight. especially for a lot like this. Okay, th there, there's a little bit of play time. So yeah, he didn't reset all of them at least. I see. Maybe so didn't progress. was more of a collector than a player, I guess. Out of sight. Brian, no, this I can tell you that much. This was not a like this was a private sale. Um, I I kind of know why well, I, I know who it is that I bought it from at least. Um, and as far as I know, he wasn't a reseller. Be afraid of the bug. And based on what we, he sold me, like one of everything, like if he's a reseller, he's gonna have like twenty tree rexes. Well, this may actually go um, a lot faster than I anticipated. Because I I don't have to navigate these menus. So, yeah. Um, that's cool, I guess. We can plow through. I mean, we're already an hour and a half in, so I guess it's not going to be a short stream. Not a super short stream, at least. Greetings, portal oh, hold on, Eon. Something hold on, hold on. Amazing. We don't want to go anywhere. Stay. Star bright, star fight. <laughs> yeah, Brian, uh, 2004 is old. Hey, 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 look. He actually played Lobstar. Like, actually leveled them up a bit. Got some coins. Tony, Lobstar is awesome. Did you play with Lobstar? Everybody should have Lobstar. Star bright, star fight. Uh, oh, price for... The metallic purple. I haven't researched one of those in a while. He shoots, he spores. Everyone should absolutely have a lobster. I'm not joking. What spotlight takes spotlight? Time to shine. Be <laughs> quick. He, he almost tried playing with Spotlight. Um, so, purple lightning rod. Behind the scenes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, prices I'm seeing... And there's a lot of inbox stuff. Wow. So metallic purple lightning rod has actually come down in price a lot, a little bit. It seems. Um, I'm seeing a lot in the like eighty to a hundred dollar, hundred ten range. But some of those even are inbox. There are people asking for more right now, obviously. Asking for 150. Asking for <laughs> asking for 220. Like that one's not gonna sell for a while. Um but yeah, 
Yeah. Some, so, somewhere in that range. Yeah, there you go. 80 to 100. Cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, it's still a great figure. All right. Um, spotlight. Wait, did I reset you? you got some coins. Time didn't you? to shine. Yeah, it we're going to get rid of those 55 it. coins. Can't have my 55 coins going in the garbage. Time to shine. Pet back. Guessing you haven't been used. And all. all right. Let's see if he chose wisely. Use Cobra Kadabra. Charmed and ready. Nope. Bazaar. No love for high five. How about nightlight? Did you explore the new, the brand new the light. light areas? You did. You did. Level nine. My future is looking bright. See the light. Yeah, uh, I, I, I've seen that too, Pirate Dad. Robo still going up. I it, it blows my mind that people have actually been paying like 300, 350 for Robo. Uh, pumpkin eyebrow. I I don't have a. Hmm. Did I get a night light yesterday? I think I did get it. I'll, I'll, I'll have to pull it out later. In between streams, I I can try to remember to find it. Alright, got a couple level pieces here. Greetings, Thank you, Eon. Evelon, stay away from you. Oh, the rocket ram tried to run away. Tried to fly away, lock it away, ram away. I don't know. Fusion Man, what's your channel about? Is it about Skylanders? It's about Skylanders, I don't mind. You got the right audience for it. Darkness falls. There's our blackout. Never played with. I've got my eye on you. It's been dead. If you're making it about Skylanders, sure. If you're doing an unboxing, yeah. I don't mind you uh, talking about your channel. Go for it. 
I'm open to supporting other Skylanders channels. <laughs> Roll with it. The, the glow in the dark sonic boom of Europe. Oof. Yeah. Making waves. Feel they got the better, better end of the deal. Cut to the chase. Hey, you shortcut to happy to see that. Chase Look in shop. Oh, fired up. Yeah, you're up. Well. I think part of the reason Europe never got Glow and Dark Sonic Boom is because of the Walmart exclusive. I mean, I don't know. They don't usually extend exclusivity internationally, but who knows? Have a good day, Oscar. Did that just happen? But yeah, seriously, this is kind of nice. If if the whole lot is like this, where it's barely motion. been played with, it's going to make my job a lot easier. Bringing the heat. Shocks. Welcome. Didn't even play with his dark figures. Taking charge. Oh, we did play with a little bit of head rush. As the runes cool. foretold. Oh, someone was asking before about the, the different paths. I want to check those out. All right, so he went Yodel path apparently. The Yodel attack does extra damage. Yodel attack does even more damage. Can control the pitch. Yodel attack is so loud it destroys the ground beneath you. Stomp attack does extra damage. Turning during a charge attack makes it do additional extra damage. Ad additional extra damage? Really? Come on, who wrote this? Sounds like a bad translation. Stomp attack does extra damage and destroys the ground beneath you. So very similar, it sounds like. It's just whether or not you like the yodel or the stomp yourself. So yeah, I, I'd experiment with it and see which one you like, but the, the paths seem quite similar. So, yeah, um, actually, Martin, um, there's not really going to be superchargers. Um, this is the weird lot where I, I said he, he was really into Skylanders, collected just about everything, but decided to skip Superchargers. Whoa. Uh, all right. Really like tough luck. 
maxed out. So if there's ever any question whether or not you should play with tough luck, there you go. There's your answer. Maxed out. Um, for someone who, who has... I, I guess he just picked one or two favorites and played with them. None of these other figures have been played with. Um, but... Yeah, the, the, there are... Deal with it. Don't expect to see superchargers in this lot. Like he he basically skipped that game. I've got the edge. Jinzo trying to blame me again. The hieroglyphs reveal true power. You know you can just put me on in the background while you clean. I'm okay with that. You don't actually need to watch it. I mean, during Not testing, you, you were here for the unboxing, right? I already seen all this stuff. Just put me on in the background. Yodo, yodo path. Sometimes I mumble, Sarah, but. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why they chose to call it the yodel path she she's most definitely an opera singer but fear the fish all geared up got some votes for stomp path though cool gear shift i am awesome Collected a few coins with gear shift. Probably died right after. All geared up. Pirate Dad, I am currently using the uh, Sure SM7B. It's a kind of industry standard for podcasting and radio and such. Um, like it's not ideal for youtube videos because like i have to have it like right next to me like i should really get a shotgun mic so I, it, it's out of frame and i don't have to deal with this all the time um but it's a really good mic when you're podcasting which is why i bought it initially because i was i, I do a lot of podcasting did that just happen I've always liked the sound of the SM7B. Like, th th there's other mics that are comparable, um, but this is the one I I, I crash prefer. and burn. Uh, Jinzo, yes, I do. Whenever I get the games in stock, I do sell them. I just don't get a lot of them. Today, I I know, like we we already had two games. I have the PS4 version of Trap Team and the PS4 version of Imaginators. Um, so those will be going up on the site, but I, I, I did see there are a few more in the box. Um, so I, I'm not sure which games they are, but yes, they will be, uh, they'll, they'll all be going up on the site. Yeah. Like the, the, the prices are listed there up on the site already. So you can see how much I sell them for. It's just a matter of if and when I get them in stock. So. Down for the count. So Chatterbug, yeah, if you if you don't if you're watching a YouTuber and you don't see a mic on screen, I mean it's either one two things. They're either using a shotgun mic that's off screen pointed at them, um, or they are. Or they're using a uh, uh, lavalier mic, which is usually like pinned on a collar, but it could be actually like underneath their shirt. Or uh, there's a lot of other places you can put it too. But um, that is, of course, if they sound good. If they don't sound good, then they might just be using the microphone coming off of their computer or whatever. But yeah, shotgun mic is the way I prefer to go. I have a bone to pick. (laughs) 
Yeah, Frino isn't that big. He's always been a little bit of a smaller guy. You need the PS3 SSA. Um, okay. I yeah, I, like I said, I I honestly don't know which games I'm getting. Like he mentioned that he was sending games along with a lot, but I don't know which uh, games are for. Fear the fish, or which systems are for? I should say. Ah, uh, Mach Razor, Rubble Rouser back in stock, uh, probably today. Honestly, I, I I think there is one later on in this lot. It's just gonna take a while to get there, so if you stay tuned or just follow me on Twitter, so you see the post that goes out and when I say, "Hey, the store is updated." Check the store then. And I'm pretty sure I should be getting a rubble rouser today. Mind over matter. Hi, Dad. You feel like you're constantly getting uh, interesting items. Like, how many days a week would you say you get? Packages related to Skylanders. Mind that's that's what I'd like to know. You have trouble finding the PS3 games. Interesting. Like, I mean, they're older, but there were a ton of copies made, and so they're usually more prevalent. Down for the count. Um, like I, I have my own copies of the PS3 game, but I need to keep those. I back in the day, I know I had multiple PS3 copies of SSA because I, that, I mean that was all that was out at the time, and I, I I've sold a few over the years. But. You didn't play with Fling Kong either. Sad day. I'm telling you folks, play with Fling Kong. Fun little monkey. Any last wishes? A storm is coming. Around once every other week, sometimes more frequently, yeah. I, I agree. There's always interesting stuff going on in the world of Skylanders. That's what I'm finding out. That's why I'm back. <laughs> the sky's the because limit. there's still a community here. There's still people collecting and hunting and, and seeking out knowledge about Skylanders. There's still people just getting into the game. A storm is coming. Like that, that surprises me maybe more than anything. But at the same time, I love to see that like that Nowhere that makes hide. me happy it is seeing more and more people getting into the game my power knows right no found equal. some of the characters he actually used <laughs> skylanders coming out on ps2 oof yeah that that would have been rough I so we we've discussed the the icons in here a few times and they they made some interesting choices um for which figures or, or which uh, so uh, Im images avatars they they chose to use in this game especially for some of the older characters so I can't really explain why but yes, they're definitely different. Oh yeah, Pirate Dad. They, they, they always will be um, just because they had so much product, right? Most games just have a game to sell or some games, you know, like know, Fortnite or something. They, they have a lot of digital stuff, but it's all pretty cheap. And so it doesn't add up as fast. Looks like I'm Whereas 
Skylanders, you know, not only sold the games and the, I mean, they sold the, the game in a starter pack, which means it already has a higher price point than just an average game. They sold millions of those. And then they sold millions of toys, which weren't just 99 cent digital characters or digital skins. They were $10, $15 figures. They were $25 expansion packs, $25 triple packs. Um, so yeah, it, like it totally makes sense. And they, I, I think they always will be one of the back. highest, highest grossing. Pumpkin Eyebrow, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to keep this King Cobra Kadabra. Like he, he's just one of those variants. I, I can't explain it. I, I just really like that variant. Like, I'm sure I'll run across more eventually. And we'll get them in the shop. But, yeah. I think I'm going to keep this one. Max to the max. Here, I'll even pull it out and put it on my desk. Or right here. He can, he can go up on the shelf. We're almost through trap team here. Let's move on to something else. This is very true, Jinzo. If you want to, you can play Skylanders on the cheap. I mean, you, you do have to have a little bit of skill or just play the game on easy. <laughs> but, I mean... The, the the only problem with playing it super cheap is that you probably don't have too many f characters and therefore you just can't die if you want to make it through the game. Especially if you get to a chaos fight. Especially in trap game. Yeah. What year did SSA come out? 2011. Came out in 2011. Uh, this year is going to be the 10 year anniversary down in October. Uh, I believe October 16th. The motion of October the motion. 16th, 2021 will be the 10 year anniversary of Skyler. <laughs> and people acted like they had to buy all the figures. It, it, well, it's true. That's the mentality that Skylanders wanted you to have. Because they're collectibles. Taking charge. You can call them toys if you want. They're collectibles. Even um, stronger than I imagined. So, I mean, think of it how you will, but yeah, they're collectibles. You know if there's a limit to how many times you can charge. reset a Skylander before they break. I'm I'm with Pirate Dad, not that we know of. Um so it it's The only real breaking point would be, you know, is the chip going to stop working? And it, it shouldn't. Under normal circumstances, like there have to be extenuating circumstances, basically. If, if you get the chip wet, it'll probably stop working. I, I've had a few figures that's happened to. Um, if you... I mean, if you smash the figure, it'll probably stop working. But the only thing you should be smashing is that subscribe button. Stump smash that subscribe button. I I need some like animated icon to put out there. Bringing the heat. Oh, I played with Wildfire too. Uh, which is my favorite Skylanders game? I I always go with Spyro's Adventure. Love that game. Love the originals. No, oh, we need to reset Wildfire. Let's face the truth. I'm awesome. 
Yeah, it's a bummer there's no new 10-year anniversary game. Like, we would have loved Remastered now, but like I said, I, I think that's farther down the road. <laughs> Collectibles to life doesn't roll off the tongue so well. Yeah, I mean, their, their market was kids. So they're toys. They're in the toy section. I mean, well, they're in the video game section, but... Is the axe head of bushwhack glued to the head of the figure? Yes. Yes. Um, I have, did you ask that before? I thought we had someone ask that before. Um, yeah, there. Look in shop. It is attached. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Shoot. This figure is broken. Haha. <laughs> All right, we have a damaged bushwhack. So, uh, doo -doo -doo. so the axe, it, you can kind of see the, the break point in the handle here, right above the hand. It's actually broken right there. And then it's kind of loose. Like the axe is in the head as well, and it's a little bit loose there too. But that kind of happened because... Um, because of the other break. Shoot. All right, you go in the broken pile. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. Oh, well. Yes, there are many, many other ways to break figures. All right. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Wow. Tintin, that's a stretch. That's a stretch there. <laughs> All right, that's the last of them. I think that's the main event. Last of them, we just gotta run through and uh, the other two figures I knew were broken. I've got the edge. Oh, <laughs> I, I I could I could try. <laughs> Yeah, will it blend for every single Skylander? See which ones come out the best. Run them all through the blender for 10 seconds. See who survives. Star bright, star fight! Sarah Skylanders came out in October. October 16th. All right, folks, that is all of Trap Team that I have here. All the traps, all the figures. Looks like we got three broken ones um, and two Rebel Go Lob Goblin traps. Not too bad. Not too bad overall. Uh, so I put this right about two hours. Um, so I am going to... Here's what's going to happen for anybody who wasn't here earlier. Um, this is part one, as the video says. I'm going to break this up throughout the day um, so I can keep my sanity, keep my voice. And you guys can pop in, in and out as you wish. But I'm going to actually end the stream here and then uh, clean up everything, get it out of the way, get the next batch of Skylanders in position so I, I, I can go through them with you. And then we'll go for round two. So I think <laughs> there's a good chance yes true x would come out on top of the blend test um 
so yeah, I, 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 let's see, it's 1.15 my time right now. So let's say, honestly, I, I, I don't need a huge break right now. Let's call it 20 minutes, 1.35. I'll be back here. So 20 minutes, I'll, I'll, I'll set up the stream right now. You can hang out in the chat room if you want to. I won't be here, but um, if anyone wants to hang out and chat, you're more than welcome, and I will see you soon.